What's up everyone? My name is Frank. Hope you're having a great day today. And yes, I am using a light machine gun and as you probably have already guessed it. Hell yeah, I completed those camo challenges for the sun machine gun. Check this out. Look how cool that camo looks. Actually, uh, not really. The uh, the diamond camo doesn't really look that good on uh, on weapons. I much prefer the gold camo, but we still complete those camo challenges. I'm very, very happy. We're going to go on a freaking rampage right now. So we are going to tackle on the camo challenges for the sub machine guns. We are going to get them done in no time. Not to worry. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to go on the grind. Oh, he's behind me. There we go. Get turned on, buddy. Get turned on. Where is he? I hear him. There we go, there we go. We have a lot of cool things to talk about today. We're gonna to be talking about Formula E, and we're also gonna be talking. Ding, I tried to run away from that. I knew it, I knew it. One too many guys, and now I was left by myself, no teammates. So we're gonna be talking about Formula E. We are also gonna be talking about all those awesome trailers that dropped at uh, Comic-Con. I'm very, very excited to talk about those. But before we get into all that fun stuff, I just want to say congrats to my boy Witness Chris for reaching 700 subscribers. Congrats, man. We will be recording a video later tonight. I also just got done recording a video with Echo Vortex for his channel. He has a very cool Injustice 2 series that he started. I'm very, very happy to be part of that series. Oh my god, nice little two-piece. Three, let's go. Keep coming. Four, no, that's four, five. Oh my, why am I reloading? This gun has like a gazillion bullets. How? Let me pop combat, combat focus. Let me get this warden. I'm gonna stay. There we go, boys. That's a warden. <laughs> craziness, craziness. How many guys do I have to take on? Let me call in this bad boy. We'll call in our care package and we will call in the UAV. So I had a load of fun recording. Uh, for uh, Echo Vortex's Injustice 2 series. I will be recording a video later tonight with Witness Chris, so stay tuned for all of these awesome videos. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. I think, uh, you know what, let's start with, oh, I have Vulture in a care package. That's why I rerolled my care packages, and that's why I use care packages. We are gonna start off with, uh, we're talking about Fool in the Eye, no clue he was right there. Get him, get him. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh my god, that, that noise is freaking annoying. Freaking annoying. All right, so formally, if you guys don't know what it is, it is basically the uh, electric version of Formula One. And they are racing here in Montreal this weekend. I'm very, very excited. But they aren't racing at the uh, Jeux Villeneuve circuit. No, 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 no. They are racing in the freaking middle of downtown Montreal. How crazy cool is that? Racing in the middle of downtown Montreal. I'm very, very excited. I'm not sure how, how they're gonna manage with, uh, with all the potholes that we have. But I'm pretty sure they did repave the track. Everything is already blocked off. The track, oh my god, he is camping in the corner. You would be camping in the corner, buddy. Look at him. Planting his butt down, waiting for people to cross. So they have uh, blocked off a couple of streets and the surrounding streets around the racetrack. And, uh, you know, people are already complaining. You know, no matter what you do, no matter how, how good you do, people will complain. But... I, I, I kind of agree with the people who are complaining. So there, there are two types of people who are complaining. The first type is the store owners. They're complaining because they're uh, not getting customers to their businesses as, as much as before because the streets are blocked off. It's not easy access to their stores along with, uh, you know, there, there's no parking on, on the streets. So I, I feel them. I feel them on that one. I agree. There are also people who are complaining because the Paris Grand Prix and the New York Grand Prix were completely funded by sponsorship money and also, oh my god, hold up, hold up, I can't capitalize on that, I got one guy, but not the other gazillion guys that just spawned there. So the Paris Grand Prix and the New York Grand Prix were completely funded by sponsorship money and anonymous donations. But uh, for the Montreal Grand Prix, we have to pay out of our own pockets. We got to pay 25 million, 25 million. Yeah, I don't know uh, how come we didn't get any sponsorship money or any anonymous donations. But uh, I still say it's it, it, it's a great thing for our city. Generates revenue, generates people coming to our city, all the tourists. 
and it puts uh, puts Montreal on the map. So I'm very very excited. This video will be out on Friday, and I will be at the Open Track vlogging. So stay tuned for that amazing video. I'm gonna try as best as I can to get up close and personal to the Formula E cars and capture amazing footage so you guys could share the experience with me. Now moving on to talking about all the cool trailers, the uh, new Justice League trailer drop. I'm pretty sure Alfred is talking to Superman at the end of that trailer. I can guarantee you that guys, I can guarantee you uh, the trailer for Arrow drop, the Flash, all very super exciting stuff. Oh my god, that's how you end a game, boys. Crazy, crazy, crazy action pack. You all know I love action pack games. Like, how did I not get the final kill? What? What a rip off, right? A rip off. So, based off of the Arrow trailer that they premiered at Comic Con, it's 100% confirmed that Deathstroke does survive along with the rest of the team Arrow. But people are saying that William's mother probably passed away so only time will tell but I know it's shaping up to be a very very cool season six I'm very excited they also premiered the trailer for The Flash I'm also very very excited for that one they revealed a, a couple cool things we get to see Wally West in Barry Allen's Flash costume so he is repping the red Flash costume and people have their own theories I think uh, you know the the bad guys aren't really taking Wally West seriously and we kind of, we, well, we do see the samurai appearing, he's like I want to see the Flash. So I'm guessing that's why Wally West puts on the Flash's costume and pretends that he is the Flash. We will be seeing Barry Allen at the end of episode 1 for sure and he will make a full appearance in episode two, so not to worry, he will be appearing sooner rather than later. So much information has dropped. If you guys want me to talk more about all of these awesome trailers that dropped, please feel free to comment down below, letting me know. I would love to talk to you guys about them. I'm very, very excited for the upcoming seasons of all of these shows. Super excited. Everyone, if you enjoyed watching this video, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, it's greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel and enjoy my content, subscribe to stay up to date with my content, and don't forget to press that bell to become part of my notification squad. Let's get it, guys. Everyone, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all had fun watching. Thank you so much for the support. Have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this video, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.